I'm project director. I have a team of around 40 people that work with me in delivering our key objective, which is delivering the arena for each championship and also practical completion in December 2019. This job is certainly different to any other job I've worked on. The primary reason being is that our entire construction cycle is actually divided into three key sections. At the end of each section, we have to hand back the courts to allow the All England Lawn Tennis Club to host the Wimbledon Championships each year. So that turns our standard single life cycle project into three individual life cycles, which makes it a very, very complicated, complex and extremely focused objective in terms of delivering against time. We instigate a collaborative process each day. We hold collaboration workshops to make sure that the supply chain have access to management and can tell us what they are doing and how they are doing it to ensure that works are fulfilled in not only a safe and functional manner, but also are fully coordinated with interfacing trades. We are driving very hard to complete the project by May 2019. If we do that, we do that earlier than our original contract duration requires, which means that the client will get their building back seven months earlier than planned. The number one strategy with the client was always to ensure that we could deliver the court back to them as safe and functional for each championship. We've done that two years on the trot and we're expecting to do the same for the 219 champs. If we can achieve that, then we've done our job, the client will be happy and it'll be a success for everyone. For me personally, it's been an absolute privilege and honor to be involved in court number one. It's a global entity, a global brand. For me to have the capacity to pick up the phone to my mum and dad who live in South Africa whilst the championships are on and say I was part of that is, is just something that you cannot really get the opportunity to say very often, I would say.